Good Wednesday morning. We're halfway through the work week and uh, over the hump, as, as they say. Uh, this morning, we're going to look at our last Old Testament prayer. Uh, we'll be looking at some New Testament prayer starting tomorrow. And today, we're in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. We're going to be looking at a prayer during a time of crisis. We've talked about prayers during temptation and turmoil, but this is for uh, an actual crisis, something in your life that's bearing down, uh, that's coming, that's out of your control, uh, that's going to be extremely life-changing. So 2 Chronicles 20, we're going to start in verse 5. Then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in the front of the new courtyard and said, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. Power and might are in your hands, and no one can withstand you. Our God, did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? They have lived in it and have built it in it a sanctuary for you, or for your name, saying, If calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name, and we will cry out to you in our distress, and you will hear us and save us. But now here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Sire, whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. See how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of the possession you gave us as an inheritance. Our God, will not you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Life gives us a bunch of... Um, different situations that, that cause severe personal or even maybe local crisis, whether it's a natural disaster like a tornado or a hurricane or an earthquake, or uh, just looking at the, the financial situation of yourself or, or maybe the, the, the medical situation or the medical situation of a loved one. Something that is going to change your life forever. What do you do? And this is what Jehoshaphat's saying. He says, Lord, we didn't attack these people when we came in from, from Egypt because you told us not to, and this is how they're repaying us. We cannot fight them off. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And I know I keep repeating that, but what a beautiful line. If that can be your mantra, whatever you're facing, whatever crisis, whatever personal, uh, existential, whatever the crisis is, if that can be your mantra, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Uh, it will change the way you view not only the circumstance, but the outcome of that circumstance. We use hurricanes, obviously, as a huge reference because we've, we've seen the devastation of a hurricane. Uh, but in the same token, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And, and through even the worst of disasters, we see the hand of God move through. So whatever you're facing, whatever look, you're looking forward uh, in your life, whether it's something serious medical or, or financial or, or you, just, you just don't know what's going to happen. What, if, that's, if that's your crisis, if you're sitting in, in a place where you just don't know what to do, don't know what's going to happen, and you, you know that you can't face this army on your own, remember that prayer. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Let's go to the Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father, Many times in our life, we, we find ourselves in that situation where we don't know what to do. But how often do we not back that up with, but we're still looking at you and what you can do for us. So Lord, we ask now that in those situations, you make yourself known. Remind us of your promise to never leave or forsake us. And let us keep that in our heart. Where do I ask now that you go with us this day? Give us just enough for today just that daily bread. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be in, uh, we'll be in Matthew chapter 6. We're going to look at some of Jesus' prayers. Um, more specifically, we're going to look at the Lord's Prayer tomorrow. Uh, once again, if you've, if you've been here, you've heard me preach on it, uh, and I, I just love looking at the Lord's Prayer. So have a fantastic day. Remember that above all, you are greatly blessed and highly favored.